Hi Virgo, let's take a beautiful deep breath in and raise our vibration. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to channel Virgo spiritual guidance with 100% accuracy. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. Virgo, we're going to ask Spirit to show you the blocks that you have in your relationship life, and then we're going to go from there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, Virgo, I feel that you come into October with an understanding that taking that risk in your love life to just be loved, to just be accepted, to just be appreciated is exactly where spirit wants you to be because you deserve unconditional love and just having to take that time to just understand that within yourself is a huge deal for you so reflect on that sit with it that you truly are enough and that you do deserve the partner that you have and that you do deserve to be treated like a queen and like a king and that you do deserve to have the type of partner that you're manifesting. I feel like with Atlantis, this is a, this is a dream come true type of relationship. And even though it gets rough sometimes, for those of you in a committed partnership, I just feel like you, you need to just be reminded that there's unconditional love there. And it is divinely timed and divinely ordained. And so sometimes you got to go through the rough spots in order to get to the other side. And so reflect on that unconditional love. Reflect on the, the dreams that you two have. Reflect on where you know spirit is sending you. And reflect on why you two got together to begin with. Um, you know, I think that there's a fear when you look at Atlantis, um, the block, I feel like there's this ideal, like this idyllic, idyllic um, fantasy of a relationship. And um, if you can even have this imagined type of relationship, and yes, you can, and that's what Spirit is telling you here. I feel like there's this need to have this utopia. And some of you have it. And I feel like some of you are just around toxic people that can really encourage you otherwise. So be reminded, okay, that you do have unconditional love in your relationship. And that, yes, you can have the type of fairy tale that you really want. But just be realistic and know that there are some challenges there. And, um, and appreciate the flaws in yourself and in your partner. Certainly journal it, write it down, and make it real. If you are not coupled up, Write it, get it on your vision board. What is it that you desire in your relationship? If you are, excuse me, if you are coupled up, write it down, get it on your vision board and manifest the type of relationship that you really do desire because you can't have that. Write those love letters. If you're single, please write it down. You know, if you want to be physically and spiritually united, with your partner, with your spouse, um, that energy is here. And um, you have the ability to manifest it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, 
before I um, before we reveal these two um, energies, I do want to share with you the energy that I feel is here for you this month in the stars. Virgo, there's this energy when you come into October, there's this release of letting someone give to you, letting yourself be supported in your love life, just really self-love, self-appreciation, and understanding that that foundation is activating the law of attraction to bring that type of partnership and renewal of your relationship to you and just being open to receive it being vulnerable enough to say I don't know I don't have all the answers I don't know what I need but knowing that as you soften you actually glow into the type of bond that you truly so desire and then around the 16th give or take 72 hours before and certainly thereafter, you've got this magically blessed new beginning in what you really value and being able to really build this foundation of relationship blueprint the way you want it to manifest. You can design your love life the way that you want it based on your value, your self-worth, your dignity, your self love, your unconditional love towards yourself and letting that law of attraction to bring that to you in a partner or your spouse and just having the standard and being able to really write it down. What are my standards? What are my boundaries? What is healthy for me? And by the end of the month, I feel like in this beautiful full blue moon on the 31st, honey, it's in an area of the stars for you that says, I get to change my philosophy. I get to do life my way. I get to really learn from the school of life and I get to apply it and really synergize what I've learned and, and use that as wisdom. And um, I just feel like be open to long distance, culturally different I've never been in love with this type of a man or I've never been in love like this before. I've never been attracted to this type of person before type of love. Wow, look at this. It's karma. It's karma. And this is your affirmation for the month. And you've got 11 here. And I believe, I believe Leo had 11 also. So make sure you view Leo's love energy because it seems that you're pulling from each other. With the water element, 11 is this ability to do things brand new. Your philosophy is changing. I allow my body, mind, and spirit to flow intuitively through the changes in life. You're never too old to embrace true love. You're never too old for love. And like, you know, you've heard me say before, this type of love is divinely ordained and divinely timed. And it is what you truly deserve. So be willing to be open and receive. The type of love that spirit has waiting for you. Abundant, unconditional love. And so when you look at it like that, you know that any minor hiccups, trials, separations, obstacles, lack of physical attention and love, you might be feeling less love, less appreciated. You might be having arguments you might be single and not liking it right now this is minor this is a breakup a separation with someone this could be that you're single but it's a difficult moment that will not last change your perspective consider the other person's point of view 
concerns, ideas, and feelings. And Spirit is encouraging you, dear Virgo, to com compromise and try to move forward and find balance. Resolve to seek the high road here. So this is a beautiful month for you to just kind of reevaluate and see what you really want out of your love life and to know that you truly do deserve unconditional love and it's there waiting for you. You just have to flow and allow yourself to not know all the answers and to show up and be vulnerable to your truth and to what spirit shows you. Well, if I can help you, I'm certainly here for you. Click the links down below and I look forward to hearing from you and reading for you. Take great care.